going to be making macaroons, French macaroons to be exact. I'm gonna show you how to make this super daunting technique and I'm gonna simplify it so that you can always make it at home. It's gonna be a party favorite that's gonna blow everybody's minds. First, we're gonna start with our wet process, which is making our meringue. First, we're gonna grab our granulated sugar. Now, we're our water. When you're mixing this, make sure that your stove isn't on. Sugar burns, and you don't wanna burn your finger. We're going to separate our egg whites. We're gonna turn on our digital scale. Make sure that you have a digital scale for this process, because it is very important that you are exact with all of these measurements, or else you're gonna have a mess on your hands. An egg yolk typically weighs 20 grams and an egg white is 30 grams. So we might need four eggs for this recipe, but I would weigh it out. So you're gonna put your egg whites in here. And you're gonna start your sugar syrup. Keep this on low speed. Now that your syrup is at 244, I'm gonna slowly pour this sugar syrup in. Let's bring it up a little bit. It needs a little help. We're gonna keep mixing until we get almost like in between soft and stiff peaks. It's like medium stiff peaks. Cause you see how this little guy is like a little like, uh, uh, it's ready. She's ready. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our almond meal and we're gonna sift that out. I like to use my spatula just to really help me sift it all the way through. We're gonna do this for half of it. Now we're gonna add our powdered sugar and we're gonna now get all those little clumps that started getting stuck together, the powdered sugar is gonna help kind of separate them and we're gonna get the most out of this sift. I got a little replacement here because my arm was hurting. Now we're cooking with gas, you see this? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to make our, what some people call macaronage. It just means making your egg whites and your meringue and your powdered sugar almond meal mixture come into harmonious harmony. I'm gonna just grab our egg whites, just pour it right in the center. I'm gonna just start making a little paste. Fun fact, this is also how you make marzipan. Okay, so now that we've made our paste, you can see that it has all come together with our egg whites. So I'm gonna add my meringue in three additions. Feel free to add them in however many portions you'd like but never all in one go because you are prone to over mixing. So let's add one addition at a time right now. So whoop. this guy is gonna be the one that you have to like beat it up. Second batch. Now we're gonna be a little more gentle but still adding a little bit of force. Let's mix our last addition, but this time we have to be super careful and super gentle because this is it. This is the last bit of air that we're incorporating to our mix. Going underneath to make sure that we scrape any thing on the bottom. What we're looking for in ribbon stage is for it to cascade down your spatula, almost like a ribbon. I have my piping tip. This is like a round piping tip. I like to twist it and then push it in to make sure that my macaroon batter does not run out. I put it in a mason jar because I want it to be a little bit hands-free. So let's fill our piping bag. Make sure that you're not deflating any of those beautiful air pockets that are gonna give us all that beautiful feet. We're gonna undo this guy. And then what I like to do is make a smaller piping bag in my larger piping bag. And this makes it a lot easier to pipe out something as runny as this macaroon batter. We're gonna start here. We're gonna pipe until that circle. We're gonna stop, we're gonna lift it up, and then we're gonna turn. And that is going to be how you cut anything that you pipe. Let's do it again. Stop, cut, turn, ha ha. That means that there's no weird indentations. Before we tap out our macaroons, we're gonna grab a little bit of water and we're going to wet our finger just until it's a little damp. And anytime that you see any ridges or anything that's like an indentation, just tap it out so that it smooths it out. 
And now what we have to do is we have to tap it out. So we're gonna let these guys dry. I know that the recipe says like 15 minutes, but if you live in a drier climate or in a more humid climate, really you have to pay attention to these guys. So let's start 15 minutes and then go from there. So now our macaroons are dry and you can tell because our shells have formed. It is perfectly smooth and there is nothing that gets on my finger. So let's put this in the oven, let's rotate it and let's get to eating, I mean filling. We're gonna fill these shells first, then eat them. Let's go. So we have done it. We have finally made our macaroon shells. They're baked and they're cooled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna match up our shells. Sometimes what I like to do is see what pairs with what. So now we're gonna take our matching shells. We're gonna just make sure that we fill one side. Then what I like to do is just spread it. If you're interested in learning how to make this chocolate ganache, click this link to make the ultimate chocolate party cake that also has this ganache in it. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to close it, making sure that it comes out just a little bit on the edge. And there you have your perfect filled macaron. Now we're gonna keep repeating this process. I had chocolate ganache, now I have pistachio. Close it. Caramel. For this caramel, I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the edge because it's gonna spread on its own. We're gonna grab a little bit of lemon. And to finish it off, a little bit of raspberry jam. Cause who doesn't have raspberry jam in their house? So now that we've filled our macaroons, we have a little bit of luster dust. We have a little bit of alcohol to only help the luster dust become more brilliant. We're gonna grab our macaroon shell and we're just gonna go oop, and we're gonna go oop. So we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna grab another cap. Let's do pink luster dust. Pink for chocolate. We're just gonna go to the edge and swipe up. Okay, so now you have your whimsical and wacky macaroons. So let's try our macaroons. Mmm. The interior is super chewy. The outer shell is light and crispy and crunchy. Oh my gosh, it's just so delicious. Misu, this is for you because I heart you. Okay, Misu and I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with all of your friends. Who doesn't want to make macaroons? Okay, Misu, say bye. Bye.